your hair grows yes hair grows but before you see long hair or you know big hair you will have to retain length <laughs> beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Indy aka the dynamite natural I make natural hair and girl talk videos so if you love this sort of content don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications to all so that you can be notified each and every single time I post a new video okay so let's get right to, to it today we're going to be talking about how to retain length um your hair grows yes hair grows but before you see long hair or you know big hair you will have to retain length you have to retain and maintain the length that you know you've grown so your hair will always be growing out from your scalp but if you do not retain the length then you won't be able to see the long hair or the thicker hair that you want to see okay so I'm going to give you a few you know a couple of tips okay that you're going that's going to help you to retain length okay so let's get right into it the very first one i always have my notebook here so that i don't miss any important point the next one is pre pull and pre detangle now especially if you have afro textured hair you you don't want to start the shampoo process with dry hair this can make your hair to dry out more as shampoo strips the hair of moisture okay so you want to pre pull or and pre detangle before you go in there put a kind of pre pulling actually puts a barrier on your hair strands that prevents the shampoo from drying your drying out your hair too much and you don't also want to go in there with tangled hair because when your hair is dry and tangled and you go in to shampoo your hair what that shampoo is going to do is going to dry out your hair strip your hair of moisture when your hair is stripped of moisture that it didn't already have now when you want to detangle your hair it's going to be wall it's going to be <sighs> you don't want that trust me and by the time you try to you're going it's you're going to break off your hair and that will hamper your length retention goals and the long hair goals that you're trying to have so make sure that you pre pull and pre detangle and some people use oils and butters to pre pull some people use conditioners like me i have a video here check out this video for benefits of pre pull where i explain everything in detail and check out this video here on how i um pre pull my hair for less shedding less breakage and a whole lot of shine okay so let's get right into the next step the next step is to detangle gently with conditioner if you want to detangle your hair detangle with conditioner detangle your hair wet with conditioner it by the time i you know try i started doing this it changed my whole hair game trust me it works now the third one is have a consistent deep conditioning routine like the human body needs food to survive to thrive to grow to be able to fight you know to stay healthy and be able to fight um the external damages the hair too needs food that kind of food to be able to stay healthy healthy and be able to fight damages as well and that is your deep conditioner do not um do a deep conditioning um thingy once in a blue moon and expect it to work have a consistent deep conditioning routine that will give your hair intense moisture and nourishment that it needs to survive and grow and thrive okay at least weekly or bi-weekly or monthly but have a consistent deep conditioning routine the third one is or the fourth tip is use an old t-shirt to dry your hair so else can freeze out your hair and take out moisture from your hair and the material that towel has is rough on the hair and you know can break off the hair strands and snap off the hair strands but an old t-shirt is much more gentle and will help you to retain moisture or you can use a microfiber towel not a regular towel 
The next one is detangle or comb your hair the right way. That means detangle your hair moisturized, not dry, from ends to roots in sections and do not do not detangle with broken combs or damaged brushes brushes with damaged bristles okay so deta detangle your hair the right way the sixth one is use accessories with no exposed metal because this metal parts on these hair scrunchies or hair ties that you used to tie your hair will hold on or snag your hair will snag onto it and it will break off it will cause breakage so make sure you use smooth accessories don't use broken or fractured or old rusty bobby pins throw those away and get new ones and yeah that's it and the seventh one is check your nails before doing your hair i have this one is personal experience okay make sure that your nails are smooth when you're doing your when you're doing your hair when you're doing your hair make sure you feel your nails before you do your hair in general you want to detangle you want to do anything make sure you feel your nails and know that your nails are smooth because if they are rough the any rough edges your hair strands will hold on will hang on to it and it's on your hair you don't know how to untangle it it will just it will break off that particular hair strand will break off and if you're going to do a whole wash day process imagine the amount of hair strands that would have snagged onto your hair and broken off no you don't want that okay so before detangling styling or doing your hair in general check your nails and make sure they are smooth and if there are any cuts or splits or rough parts on your nails your hair strands will get hooked and in the process break off so make sure you smoothen out your nails when you want to do your hair the F one is trim your ends as necessary. Don't just trim for the sake of trimming, okay? I have a video here where I explained when to know, you know, when to trim your hair. Don't trim off perfectly good hair because you will not be retaining length. If your hair is healthy, it doesn't have any split ends or damaged ends, you don't need to cut them off. Only if they're damaged ends. Because if you don't split off, if you don't cut off split ends, they will split and destroy that particular strand and affect the surrounding strands okay so check out this video on how to know when it's time to trim and check out this video too for a tutorial on how to trim you know without using direct heat and without you know trimming into it I have a tutorial for that i will link it up in the archives as well and in the description box below the last but not the least is sleep with a satin or silk bonnet on or you can sleep with a satin or silk pillowcase. When going to sleep, put on your satin bonnet on. I can't think emphasize this enough because when you're rubbing onto your cotton pillowcase all night long, it will draw out moisture and make your hair to snag and break off. And if you don't have a satin pillowcase but you have a satin scarf, you can use a bonnet instead on your head because I noticed that certain scarves don't really hold on to your hair. I mean, you wake up in the morning and your certain scarf is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Comment down below if that has happened to you. So bonnets are much more secure. So if you have a certain scarf, lay that, um, place that on your pillow, on your pillow as extra protection when you're sleeping. So in, just in case your bonnet decides to slip up a little bit, your hair is still, that part that has been exposed is still protected because of the satin or silk scarf that you have on top. This helps to retain moisture and prevent unnecessary tangles which can cause breakage. So that is it. Those are my nine tips on how to retain length. There are many more, of course, but I wanted to, you know, make this video quick. Now comment down below if you have any other um, tips that you use to retain length that I haven't mentioned, comment down below. I like to learn too, trying to brown my hair as well. So yeah, that is it for this video. You, if you've been growing out your hair, you've retained length, what are those tips um, that has helped you? Which of these tips have you found that is really, really helpful? I want to know. Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and also subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications to all so that you can be notified each and every single time I post a new video. And also follow me on my other social media platforms right here on the screen. I love you. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.